point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed, in all of its forms, greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind and... Your radio will be broken! And in its place emerges an awesome monster such as human eyes have never seen. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. A partnership for progress, whether you like it or not. You're not knowing your fluids. This is battery fluid. He is bleeding to death. They don't seem to be very concerned about dying or avoiding death. Why do you think that is? Maybe they know what comes after death with more confidence than we do. Maybe there's another vessel waiting for them on the other side. The other side? The Eskimos may in fact be where they come from in the first place. Uh, I've heard the claims that they come from Zeta Reticula or the Pleiades, but it hasn't been established that they come from out there at all. Their saucers may not travel through space as we know it. They may fold in from another dimension, another reality. You make them sound almost supernatural, like angels or devils. Supernatural is just a term for aspects of nature we don't understand. For many people, they certainly do serve the functions of both angels and devils. Forces, forces we can't comprehend. Have you had enough of me? I think I've earned my money. your head I'm crushing your head I'm crushing your head that's what I'm doing flathead <laughs> like putty in my hand these business boys they perpetuate strife and ill feelings they corrupt our environment and prepare the earth for a solid state intelligence invasion they abhor love and generosity they feed off fear and love, greed and incompetence. They buy bad art and make real artists starve by ignoring brilliance and creativity. They live off that which is contrary to life and create dross to feed off. Uh, just remember that this thing isn't as black as it appears. For you, folks. I was just talking to old man Potter and he guaranteed cash payments to the bank. The bank's gonna reopen next week. But George, I've got my money here. Did he guarantee this place? Well, no, Charlie, I didn't even ask him. We don't need Potter over here. I'll take mine now. No, but you're, 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 you're thinking of this place all wrong as if I have the money back in a safe. The, the money's not here. Well, your money's in Joe's house. That's right next to yours. And in the Kennedy house and Miss Maitland's house and, and a hundred others. Like you're lending them the money to build, and then they're going to pay it back to you as best they can. Now, what are you going to do, foreclose on them? I got $242 in here, and $242 isn't going to break anybody. Okay, Tom. All right. Here you are. You sign this. You get your money in 60 days. 60 days?
Changing, changing mighty 